Hi guys, I'm Cassie and welcome back to my channel. Call it spring, like everything is new. The sun burst flowers, calling on warm days over to But I I am going to be painting my own nails in a cow print because there's a little bit of background with this story. Today, April 5th, 2020, has been one year since I promised myself that I would never eat meat again. And the reason for that is kind of long, but I posted a TikTok about it. So a couple months ago, I had the idea to get my nails done, obviously at a nail salon in a cow print because I've seen it before and I just thought it was kind of like funny because I don't eat cows and I have a cow print on my nails. But unfortunately, because of the coronavirus I can't go get my nails done and a couple weeks ago literally last week I promise you one week ago I saw a video of a girl teaching me or teaching people how to do cow print nails at home which was like the perfect timing so that's what I'm gonna do my mom went out to the grocery store yesterday to Target to get food and I asked her if she could pick some of these up for me so she got them so don't worry I didn't just go out of my way to like go out and it's not a necessity so don't worry and then I got black and white nail polish and I'm really excited because I've always wanted cow nails and these used to be my best friend in eighth grade so I'm pro at these things so this is not a tutorial but if you want one then you can probably find one this is just kind of like a fun video and sit down and do your nails with me or you can just watch me and have your coffee or just have a snack and watch me fail at trying to do cow print nails Let's go. How I do my cow nails. Okay, so you're gonna need I'll put her username right here in case you want to go look at it, but that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. I kind of like how her nails are more oval shaped, but I got square, so. So I'm just gonna start off by cutting my nails because two of them fell off. They didn't fall off, but they started like, like half of them fell off. I don't know how to explain it, so I had to chop them off. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of my nails. Okay, I'm gonna take this filer and file down my nails because that's what they do when they do your acrylics. It should work and it will make them stay longer. I know that because I tried that the last time I tried to put this on, which was a long time ago, but I did do that. So the goal here is just to make your nails as rough as possible so that the glue has something to stick onto. And I think I'm doing not a bad job. Focus. It's not gonna focus. Why did I go vegan, you ask? I can feel the comments saying, I didn't ask. But pretend that you did, okay? Pretend that you asked me why I went vegan and now I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, first of all, I'm not vegan anymore. Not fully, at least. I would consider myself plant-based. But you know what? That's also not true because I feel like vegan people have adopted that word. So I can't really call myself that either. Here's where I'm at currently. I currently eat fish and that's the only meat I eat. And I only eat like salmon and shrimp and that's twice a week at the most at the most because fish isn't really that great for you. I mean, it is really good for you, but like also there's something in it called mercury, mercury, and that's not good for you. It could be bad. Otherwise, I don't eat eggs because I don't like eggs. I don't drink milk because I don't like milk. I drink almond milk when I have to like put in oatmeal or whatever, or put in smoothies or whatever. And that's pretty much it. The only times that I ever eat milk and eggs is when I'm out with my friends and like it's in something. So like there's milk in a cake and me and my friends want to make cookies or cake or I'm on vacation or I whatever I'm at a birthday party and there's cake there. I'm not gonna like not eat the cake because there's eggs in it or milk. But um meat is just like a no-go. I don't eat meat unless it's fish and that's only sometimes. Again I already said that. So basically I'm vegan at home besides the fish and I'm just pescatarian when I'm not at home. So now I'm just putting on the little plastic things. If you have ever done these before then you know what I'm talking about. So here we have both of the thumbs on there. We need to do the pointer finger. You all know, you know I'm up now. This is too big. Let's see if it works on something else. <gasps> Wait, does that work? I think that that worked. That's what I think. D does it look good to you guys? Okay, me too. It looks good to me too. <gasps> Why are these so weird shaped? This is good. No, that's too small. Okay, well first of all, I think these were our pinky ones. These ones work for the pinky. I got seven, I got seven, I got 99 shots in, wait, you got, 
Wait, what is the word? I got 99 problems and it won't be one. Like what? Head in the clouds, gonna wait on my shoulders. <gasps> my jeans? Why are those so big? If you guys don't know what's happening, which you probably don't, my mom just threw a pair of jeans at me because I ordered some jeans off of Amazon because I don't really have any jeans and also I keep seeing people painting Louis Vuitton jeans on my TikTok and I really wanted to do it. So I ordered jeans off of Amazon. And isn't it weird that I go to the store all the time and try on jeans. I hate all the jeans that I buy. And the first pair of jeans that I buy online, I actually like them. Isn't that weird? And it was off of Amazon. How weird is that? But I'm also gonna make a video on YouTube and TikTok of making Louis Vuitton jeans. So if you wanna watch that too, subscribe. But let's get back to the important stuff. We're doing cows right now. We're focusing on cows and being a vegan. I honestly, I really wish that I could be a full vegan. Like I, I more than anything in this world, want to be fully plant-based and fully vegan. But this thing exists called um, cheese and I can't. I can't, like pizza, I can't. Like I know there's vegan options, but that's the one thing that I've never found a good vegan dupe for. Like chicken, oh yeah, there's good vegan chicken. Like vegan sausage, vegan sausage. Oh my gosh, tastes exactly the same. Cheese, they can't do it. I don't think that they'll ever be able to do it. Even milk, they can do that pretty well. Like, pretty freaking good. But cheese, that's the one thing that they will never ever be able to do and once they do if they ever do make a vegan cheese oh girl i'm going vegan for i will never eat cheese again if if they come out with a good vegan cheese but that day still has not come i don't know how to use a computer but i bring the mac out i think that i am ready for the hard part so something that's just coming to my mind right now that i really want to talk about mom Thank you. Something that is coming to my mind right now that I really want to talk about is the fact that I do not have a boyfriend and I have lived 17 years of my life without having a boyfriend. Like, I really don't understand it because I'm not, I'm not that ugly. And I think I'm really nice. So like, I don't know why. I really don't. So uh, I'm accepting applications like, and pretty much anybody. I would like date anybody probably. Actually, that's a little bit of a stretch. But like, if you're nice, I don't really care about what you look like. Kind of. Like, I like white chocolate, I like dark chocolate, I like milk chocolate. <laughs> I like milk chocolate a lot. But I like milk chocolate and dark chocolate the most. But if you're white chocolate, that's okay too. But um, you have to look kind of similar. If you're white chocolate, you have to look similar to like, Sean Mendez or like Liam Hemsworth or Quentin from TikTok. Oh my gosh, he's like way younger than me, but like I would still date him though. Yeah, I would because I don't. Um, if anyone else can relate, speaking of Quentin, he just posted. Dang it. Never mind. I'm gonna start putting on the nails with the glue. And this is the scary part for me because what if. What if I glue my fingers together? Like, what if I glue my hand to my face? What if I glue my phone to my hand? I mean, it's not. it wouldn't really be different if I glued my phone to my hand because it's kind of already like that, let's be honest. We're best friends. I mean, my phone, we're best friends, yeah. I'm wearing two different socks. I don't know how the nail ladies do this. They're awesome. I'm pretty proud of them. They, they do a good job. This is difficult stuff. I think I got it on. Wow. Maybe I don't even need to go to the store anymore. Like I kind of, I'm kind of good at this. Next one, the store. Why did I say the store? I meant the nail salon. My worst fear is that I'm going to glue it on backwards because that would be bad. So let's try to not do that. Give it a nice good shake, 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 shake. Grab some ice, fill up your pint glass. And now we're gonna give it a nice, good, strain top it off with the cherry and there you have it fun right love that girl she's actually really entertaining now let's get into the story of the time i had dyslexia so now i'm going to get into the story of why i went vegan flashback to about a year ago no about like a year a little bit more than a year ago i was just like having a really hard time like with food 
not like eating wise, but kind of. Like I just didn't feel like anything. Like I was kind of bored of what I was eating, if that makes any sense. Like I don't know, that kind of sounds really bad. And it sounds like selfish, but like I just, like, I was just so bored of food and like what, like I don't know. Like I was just so bleh about food, so I just like wouldn't eat. And it wasn't that, it wasn't like I wouldn't eat because I didn't like want to gain weight or anything like that. I just didn't feel like making anything, didn't feel like whatever. Like I just didn't feel like anything, if that makes any sense. And that was for like two weeks and I didn't really know what to do because you obviously have to eat to survive. One hand is complete. One day, it was literally, I remember, uh, because it was the day after Billy's album kind of got released. And I was like, I kind of want to like just try to stop eating meat for a little bit. And so I started watching YouTubers that were like plant-based and stuff like that. I started watching vegan ones. So the 29th of March, I, st I mean the 20th, the 30th of March, I started to like think about not eating meat for like a month or something like that. I'm like, I kind of want to just like try it out and like see how it is. So again, I started watching like vegan YouTubers and stuff like that. I came across people like Pippin Jardine, Ashley Wicca, and Maddie Limburner and stuff like that. There's a lot more, but those are just the ones that I watched. And then I kind of think I went on and then I decided a week later, I'm like, Maybe I'd just go all in and like try to go vegan because I was really obsessed with their lifestyle, like how plant-based and like just how resourceful they were kind of, or like how they really cared about the planet and stuff like that because there's a lot more to being vegan than just because either you're doing it for your health or you're doing it because you don't want the animals to be hurt. There's a lot more scientific things, scientific things that go behind it like the environment. Like that. Okay, so my camera just ran out of storage so I just had to sit here for like 30 minutes and wait for it to get onto my computer because I don't have another memory card. And I finished my nails but now my camera is flashing that it's about to die. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start painting white and then once it dies then I'm just gonna charge it and then finish painting my nails white because I don't think anybody really cares. I have to finish my store. <coughs> Thank you. I have to deal with these children at 7 o'clock in the morning and they jump on this freaking trampoline while I'm trying to sleep and they're screaming, Dad, Dad, Dad. Shut up. Okay. I'm trying to get my beauty rest and you're interrupting. And they do it all day. It's just so disrespectful. Anyways, back to my story. I decided that why not just go go all in and just try being vegan for like a month. Like not even a long time. I even made a video about it. Like the video is still up. And it was like getting my life back together or something like that. And it was like I was talking about how I was going to go vegan for like a little while. And then I would probably just, just be vegetarian because I didn't want to eat meat anymore. Are you serious? I was going vegan. I didn't really, like, I was just doing it solely because I was so bored of, like, my regular eating habits because I wasn't eating well either. Like, I wanted to get healthier and I felt like going vegan was, like, so far from what I was used to so that if I went vegan for, like, a month, I would have to follow some of those habits once I stop being vegan. So I would be in the middle and be a little bit healthier, if that makes any sense. Like go to the extreme to get into the middle. So that was kind of my plan. And then the day after I decided that I was just gonna go all vegan, which was a year ago today, I decided it would be a good idea to learn more about why people go vegan and stuff like that. So what I did is I looked up a slaughterhouse video. You can imagine how that went. I couldn't even go like 10 seconds into the video. Like 10 seconds into the video, I was already bawling my eyes out. I went to my mom and I was, Bawling. I kid you not, I was crying so hard. And from that moment on out, I swore to myself that I would never eat meat ever, ever again. And then after I decided that, then that's when I kind of started learning more about like the environmental benefits that going vegan has. And that just made me want to continue to be vegan and continue to not eat meat. Again, I wouldn't really call myself or consider myself to be a vegan, but like I kind of just tell people that because because I'm more of a vegan than I am of a regular like American diet eater, if that makes any sense. Like I eat more plant-based than I eat whatever. You know what I mean? I recently found a fitness YouTuber named Savannah. I think her last name is right, like Savannah Wright, and her username is Sav Wright. And she uses the term flexitarian, which means she's vegan on the weekdays or when she's at home and then when she goes out with her friends and stuff like that she's 
she just eats whatever she wants but she kind of incorporates meat into her diet still i don't at all so that's kind of what i am i'm a flexitarian if you want to call it that but i think that's enough vegan talk i'm gonna go do this hand off camera so that i can charge this and then i'm gonna do a top coat and then i'll come back to do the black part so i thought my nails were dry and then i my mom started facetiming my aunt and my cousin and she's like showing them my room and so i ran to clean it up and then i just smudged this this is literally purple of course is this purple or is it black <sighs> this is freaking purple i'm not sure if it's even good like at least it's black okay so the girl on tiktok told me to take a bobby pin and to stretch it out and that's how you make the cow dots so now i'm gonna try it okay there's some coming out Okay, this is a good sign. Guys, this is actually working. Guys, this is actually working. It's gonna be a freaking cow on my nail. My dream is finally coming true. Like, honestly, it really doesn't look like a cow. This is really not that difficult though, so. <coughs> Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down, yeah. Loki kind of looks like a cow man. I'm gonna go wait for this to dry and then I'll do the other hand. I'll be right back. I freaking cow nails. So, I finished the other hand. I then proceeded to make some TikToks because that's what every teenage girl does, they make TikToks. Like, I didn't post any of them, but I made TikToks and this happened. <laughs> kind of upset about it, I didn't even notice until like right now. This is gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna fix this off, off camera because I don't really think anyone cares. I'm probably gonna do fix it on my vlog that I'm going to be posting. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to redo the whole nail, but it's fine because I didn't really like that nail anyways, so I'm kinda glad that it got messed up. The real cow. <sighs> this couldn't be a real video without bringing in the actual cow herself. Like, look at that. Is that not a mini cow? Like, this is a mini cow. And you wouldn't wanna eat this, would you? Wanna eat this? You wanna eat this? Who would want to eat this cute little face? <sighs> See, she doesn't like it. That's gonna be the end of this video. Don't forget to thumbs this video up to show me that you liked it and comment down below. And also subscribe so that you can watch other videos that I make that are really awesome too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all again in my next video. Hopefully my nails will be done and not look like this. Hey.